The torque converter is installed between the engine and transmission on the vast majority of vehicles with automatic and continuously variable transmissions. It functions as a clutch, smoothly transferring torque from the engine without a rigid coupling, using fluid as the medium. Additionally, in certain operating modes, it increases the torque at the output. To understand how the torque converter works, we'll first review its predecessor, the fluid coupling, which is no longer used in modern vehicles. The concept of the fluid coupling is similar to that of two fans. When you turn on a fan and direct it at another fan that is turned off, the latter will rotate due to the airflow from the former. The fluid coupling works on a similar principle, but it uses fluid in a confined space. You can see one of the simplest fluid coupling designs. Let's look at the main parts of the fluid coupling. The housing is mounted on the flywheel. The housing features a pump wheel. A turbine wheel is located opposite the pump wheel. It is not firmly attached to the pump wheel or the housing. The turbine wheel receives fluid flow from the pump wheel and starts spinning as a result. The torque is then transferred to the gearbox input shaft. Obsolete fluid couplings have been replaced by more sophisticated torque converters, capable of increasing torque. This is accomplished through the use of the stator, which is located between the pump and the turbine wheels. Because of the one-wear bearing, it can only rotate in one direction. The stator's primary function is to change the direction of the fluid flow, allowing the kinetic energy of the flow to be used in the pump wheel and thus increasing the torque. As the speed of the pump and turbine wheels is equalized, the torque increase stops. The torque converter starts to work like a regular fluid coupling with a transmission ratio close to 1. The disadvantage of this system is that the slip of the turbine wheel relative to the pump wheel causes transmission losses and as a result increased fuel consumption. To avoid this, newer systems include an additional function called torque converter lockup. It is a standard feature in most modern torque converters. One of the possible lockup designs is a lockup clutch connected to the turbine wheel via damper springs. The reverse side of the lockup clutch features a friction surface. To engage the lockup, fluid under pressure is fed into the cavity between the lockup clutch and the turbine wheel, causing the clutch to rest against the housing. As a result, the turbine wheel and housing rotate as one unit, bypassing the hydraulic transmission of the hydraulic converter. Note that the torque converter uses the same fluid as the transmission, transmission fluid. As mentioned earlier, when the torque converter locks, fluid must be supplied under pressure. You will find more 3D video lessons in our Car Anatomy online course.